welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather Mondu and welcome. So today I did a cotton candy inspired type of look because I did just get the 35B from Morphe and I was really excited and I really want to try it out. And also I just got my nails done and they're like turquoise type of blue, you know? So I was like, nah, I'm not just going to do some bronzy look. So yeah, this is the look I came up with today. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get on with it. <laughs> so to start off, I'm going to grab straight away my Color Burst palette from Morphe, which is the 35B. And I'm going to take this pink shade right here in the corner on my Morphe M209. And I'm just going to place that all over the place as my transition shade. Now I'm going to take the yellow shade right here in the corner and I'm always on the same brush and I'm just going to add that to the transition shade for later. I'm going to take the Morphe B30 which is just this fluffy brush and I'm going to take this plum shade right here and I'm just going to add that to my eye on the outer corner. Now I'm going to take the Morphe 218, which is this is really large fluffy brush, and I'm just going to blend that all out. It is, of course, a clean brush. Now I'm going to take the Morphe 84, uh, B84, and I'm going to take this dark purplish blue shade over here, and I'm just going to add it to my corner. I'm just going to wipe off the corners and I'm going to continue blending in the purple. I'm going to grab back the Morphe B30 and I'm just going to blend back the pink. I'm going to go back on the Morphe B209 which was the first one that I used for the transition shades and I'm just going to blend out the top of my eye. Now I'm just going to grab a eyeshadow brush which is the N. 15 from my ipsy bag and I'm just going to take the blue shade that's over here in the corner and I'm actually going to press that into my eye and bring it down from the crease now I'm going to take a pencil brush that's a little bit more fluffier than usually and I'm going to take the green teal shade right here and I'm actually going to try to blend that above the blue that I just put. I'm going to go back with a even smaller, thinner packer brush and I'm just going to pack on the blue. The same blue from earlier, just on a smaller packer brush to have it more intense. Back with the transition shade from a uh, brush from earlier, I'm going to grab the fuchsia that I had in the beginning and I'm just going to add that on top of the blue right where I had put the teal because I feel like the teal did nothing. And I'm just going to stamp that while I slightly blend it. With the same brush, I'm going to grab the purple shade right here and I'm actually going to add that right next to the blue just to blend it all together I'm going to clean up the look so I'm going to grab the same makeup wipe as earlier and I'm just going to clean up the look on the sides and just with the transition uh, with the M209 I'm just going to blend out the top and now I'm just going to put on some eyeliner, some mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have added winged liner. I have added uh, a bit of glitter in the crease area, and I have put on some mascara. Uh, for today's look, you know what? Actually, I'm not going to do lashes because fuck it. 
I found a new mascara and I have been obsessed with it. It's literally, I just curl my lashes and I put this mascara and like, I don't know, I'm really loving what it comes out to be. It is from Monsieur Big from Lancome. It is the waterproof version. I don't know why I love it so much. It just makes my entire lashes like just look beautiful and insane. So... We are almost done with the video, so I'm just going to do the under eye. So as per usual, I'm just going to grab my Morphe M418, which is this one. It is my little angled fluffy brush-ish for under my eye. Um, for under the eye, actually, I'm going to take this shade right here, which was the pinkish fuchsia shade. And I'm just going to slide that all over under my eye. I'm actually going to give a little bit of space because I'm going to bring the blue up a little bit. And now I'm just going to take the Morphe MB47, which is this right here. And I'm going to grab the blue shade and I'm just going to connect it all the way. About 50-50. So 50% blue, 50% purplish, pinkish, kind of jam. And I'm just going to take the Morphe Y20, which is this pencil brush, and I'm just going to blend out below it, just so that it's as good as it gets. And I'm going to add some mascara on the lower lashes. Bye bye. So yeah, now I'm just going to find a lippy. Fuck, I don't know what to do. A lip does this deserve so as for lipstick i'm going to take the laura mercier in the shade sensual it's the velour lovers lip color it's just this little guy okay so that's the lip we're going for it's a really bright pink new type of look um i just realized i'm not wearing highlight this is just natural glow guys so we do not vibes with natural glow so I'm going to take my highlighter. So first I'm going to put some blush. I'm going to take my Blush Bazaar, which is this right here. And for the occasion, I'm going to take the shade Exalterating, which is a very, very pink shade. And I'm going to take, obviously, my Y4. And I'm just going to mix that a little bit with Fortunate, which is what I usually use. And let's just hope it's not too pigmented. And since the contour or bronzer is not as dark enough as what I would want it to be, I'm just going to take my Morphe Y5 and my bronzer, which is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Matte. And I'm just going to add some to the um, bronzing area of the cheeks. And I'm going to take the Morphe Y14 and the Becca Champagne Pop. My little baby has been going through a lot recently. She's a little broken, but it's okay. She still works. Mm. And she is still the best highlighter on the market, baby girl. And that's the look. So we're just going to set it using the MAC Fix Plus as per usual. So this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss every time I upload. I do upload every Monday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but as I am doing today, I am uploading randomly throughout the week, so press that post notification bell so that you don't miss every time I upload. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys!